Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, June 15th, 2017. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Well, the Cleveland Cavaliers have been bounced by the Warriors, and men's head basketball coach Thad Matta is out at Ohio State. But it's not all bad news for sports fans in Ohio. You've still got Michael Lockett. This week, some new back training footage surfaced from somewhere deep in the depths of the Lockett camp, showing the Ohio native looking completely insane as he destroys another monster back workout. So far this season, it feels like Lockett has made it his personal mission to do whatever it takes to silence his critics. And with four top seven Arnold finishes on his resume already, I'd say he's doing a pretty damn good job. As long as he stays committed to the process and really digs deep, I still think we have a chance to see even more from a guy who's clearly got a whole lot more in the tank to give. Hey all you classic physique fans, this is the section of the show where it's time for you to wake up and pay attention. So far this season we've had a really impressive crop of new rookies find ways to make their mark on the pro stage. And four weeks from now we'll be able to add at least one more name to that list when rookie star in the making Rylan McDool makes his highly anticipated pro debut. This week we were able to get our hands on some exclusive behind the scenes updates from inside the McDool camp as he prepares to make his debut at the Vancouver Pro just under four weeks from now. McDool looks like he's put on a ton of new muscle since he won his pro card at last year's NPC Nationals and I wouldn't be the least bit shocked if this kid showed up and knocked a few veterans off the podium when he cruises to a top five finish. So far this season the men's physique division has quietly been very entertaining and I'd like to think that the emergence of second year standout Shiraquag Shabazz has something to do with that. Just over a week removed from his huge win in Denver back at the Mile High Pro, the former junior national champ is already in full-scale Olympia prep mode. Recently, Shabazz was spotted in the gym training alongside friend and former men's physique Arnold Classic winner Brandon Hendrickson, where the two were seen smashing a completely insane chest workout. Shabazz has that round 3D look that seems to be ruling the day right now in men's physique. And if he can show up anything close to 100% for his Olympia debut, I think he's got a legitimate shot to fight his way into a potential top six finish. As a sports fan, I've always admired the athletes who have the courage to battle back in the face of adversity. And Nick Medici definitely fits that bill. Despite running into a long series of setbacks that put him on the shelf for the better part of the last year, the 2015 NPC National Light Heavyweight Champ looks like he's finally starting to hit his stride. This week, a very rejuvenated looking Medici was spotted training chest out at Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym as he tries to fight his way back to the stage for a pro debut that's been nearly two years in the making. When he was healthy and firing on all cylinders, Medici proved he had the talent to be an absolute nightmare with a serious upside. And as long as he can manage to stay healthy and keep the positive juju flowing, I have no doubt in my mind that we'll see this kid on a pro bodybuilding stage a whole lot sooner than later. When you've been involved in bodybuilding for as long as I have, you learn that there's no such thing in this sport as a foregone conclusion. But Flex Lewis wrapping up his sixth straight 212 Olympia title sure is starting to feel like one. During a recent visit to Texas, King Flex was spotted crushing a monster chest workout in the middle of a 100 degree Houston heat as he attempts to push his way through the early stages of his Olympia prep. Despite a few naysayers out there trying to throw rocks at the throne, I don't know any person in their right mind who thinks there's even a conceivable chance of Flex losing the title this year. And once he elevates himself into that rarefied platform of being a six-time Mr. Olympia right alongside Dorian Yates, I think we can start openly debating where this guy ranks historically in the pantheon of bodybuilding's greatest athletes.